بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Madam Chairperson, conference organizers, esteemed speakers, panelists, respected participants of this lovely conference, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to express my appreciation to Dr. Muniza, the chairperson of this conference, and also the UTO, UTO AD Consult of Sri Lanka, and um, the local host women on board, Mr. Shafiga, for giving me this opportunity to speak to this esteemed audience. As a uh, previous speaker has mentioned, this is the second time I have uh, come to this conference. I always love to be involved in Islamic finance. One, I'm also Muslim. Two, all my life I spent in the finance sector. Three, I had a pioneering effort to bring Islamic finance to Maldives. Um, I welcome all respected international uh, speakers to Maldives and also thank local, both local and international speakers for being here today to share their, your knowledge and experience. I hope I can also be with you to listen to the, the, the research work you have done and also the valuable information we provide. <clears throat> One day I think I will be with you. We are indeed very privileged to have you all with, with us. This is the fourth time, but not the last time, we are holding the Islamic Banking and Finance Industry Conference in Maldives. The theme for this year is, is very, I think, uh, strategizing, energizing uh, theme called strategizing the Maldive and Islamic banking and finance industry for a better tomorrow for Maldivian, better Maldivians, a better tomorrow for, better, for all Maldivians. Um, this is surely an important team for the Maldives. I would say our Islamic finance industry is currently at its prime. Inte intellectual discourse um, through conferences, uh, this is therefore essential to inject knowledge and expertise to the industry for it to flourish, become more vibrant, and tailored to meet the requirements of Maldives. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, the global Islamic finance industry has grown and expanded rapidly over the last decade. According to World Bank statistics, if I'm not mistaken, Sharia complaint financial assets are estimated around two trillion, two trillion US dollars. And Islamic finance is already mainstreamed within the global financial markets. Two trillion is nothing small. Our GDP, I think, if you compare our GDP at two trillion dollars, you can see that the magnitude of this figure. As other speakers mentioned, there are three, 13 institutions, Islamic institutions, Islamic or institutions offering Islamic finance in Maldives. 
for a small country like Maldives, I would say this is a very good number. However, at this point in time, we need more competitive and innovative products. And Dr. Meza always come with me while I was in Ministry of Finance with all innovative products. And I had to agree or with her always. Especially to cater to the mega economic projects and change the livelihood of marginalized segments of society. But I would not disagree, I would not disagree or I, I would not agree with this one, particularly women in business and also small and medium-sized enterprise. I think um, our register of companies is also there. She will also be happy about this. This may be achieved through developing crowdfunding. I was wondering what is this crowdfunding platform and using fintech is also a, a very nice word, but, but I have not uh, gone through what, what fintech means. I think Dr. Minister will give you what fintech means. Yeah? So just mentioned about using technology for Islamic products. Since women on boards is the co-organizer of this conference, I am pleased to note that the increasing participation of women in the finance sector, including the Islamic finance sector in the Maldives, is commendable. Compared to other countries in the South Asia region, in Maldives, we do, we do only have female Sharia scholars sitting in Sharia committees. I think nobody can dispute this. And also, women playing an active role in promoting Islamic finance in the country. While I was sitting on the, on the table, at, I, I was surrounded by women. That shows how, how present they are in Islam finance. This is unique to Maldives, and I believe it will make our country exemplary to the rest of the world. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, being a 100% Muslim country, the government of Maldives recognizes the importance of Islamic economies for financing the development of this little nation. Maldives Center for Islamic Finance, MCIF, and Hazana Maldives were set up exclusively for this purpose. Through them, and the other relevant institutes, a number of Islamic finance products have already been launched in the country. As such, an Islamic microfinance scheme, Faseha Madad, I think Register will, is uh, nodding her head, has been introduced, which is now in the process of being activated and also a second corporate scoop has been issued by Housing Development Finance Corporation this month. I think Ms. Rahima is here, she will know more about this. The government also recognized the importance of tapping into the lucrative halal market or halal tourism segment. For this purpose, an island has already been allocated to the Maldives Center for Islamic Finance to create a Sharia-compliant 
result. And if there's any delay, I think you can ask Ms. Dr. Muniza, and I think the MCIF chairman, or I think she is also here. This is the first time in the Maldives that we have initiated a project of this, this nature. It is my firm belief that through this we can maintain the prominence and leadership that Maldives currently holds in the international tourism industry. Additionally, this is the first time in the Modi's tourism history that revenue from a project will directly benefit the most disadvantaged people in the society. To achieve this noble objective, the profits from this project will go into a sovereign fund for the alleviation of poverty. Our government envisions a prosperous country that shares the proceeds of growth with everyone to enhance the quality of life universally. We seek to foster a country that includes all our citizens. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this momentous conference, I am extremely proud to highlight our President, President Yamin's vision to make Maldives the main hub for Islamic finance in the South Asian region. I think today's the topic is this, you can strategize and also we can lead Islamic finance industry in South Asia. With flexible and legal and financial infrastructure in place, Modis is an ideal destination for a regional finance center. We enjoy a friendly relationship with all the countries in the SAC, the Middle East, and major economic powers such as China. The geographical location and easy visa arrangements give us a competitive advantage over the rest of the players in the region. There are many other advantages. Maybe during the course of this conference, we can share this. Today, Maldives is witnessing an extensive economic transformation, a transformation that naturally utilizes huge, huge sums of capital. The government is working towards attracting more financial institutions to the country. Just a few minutes ago, I was discussing with the chairman of Women on Board. No, I think she is now chairman of uh, uh, insurance company. She was discussing about bringing another Islamic bank to Maldives. I really like that idea. With um, special economic zone law that came into effect in, is it 2014? 2014, we have the potential to champion Islamic finance in the region. I think there is land allocated in Hulumale that this conference would enhance our efforts and revolutionize our means towards developing our delicate economy through Islamic finance industry. <clears throat> um, I would like to thank once again Dr. Muniza, Shafiga, and also I, I think Isharat, and, and also Eddie Consult 
as Akif, is it Akif, and the rest of the team for giving this, this opportunity. Thank you for your attention. And I wish for fruitful discussion that will significantly contribute towards advancement of the Islamic finance sector in Maldives. Once again, thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.